Lesson 55 is about common denominators, and this is part one of this type of problem. Now, if we look at our first problem that we have, we've got subtraction. We want to subtract one half minus one sixth. And I've drawn out some circles here broken into parts. So our first problem is one half. If we've got one half of a circle, we've got this area that's shaded in red. What we want to do is we want to subtract one sixth from our next circle from this one half. Now if we look at that, well, these don't compare. They don't compare because they're different sizes. In order for us to be able to subtract, we've got to make the pieces of our pie, or the pieces of this uh, pizza, the same exact size. So what we want to do is we want to cut this one half so that we have six equal pieces so we can subtract. Let's go ahead and look at what that would look like. If we break this one half into six equal pieces, we're going to have to make one diagonal, and another diagonal right through the center. In order to get six equal pieces throughout that, we're assuming these are exactly equal. And you can see we now have three out of six. So what this problem is, is three out of six minus one out of six. And that'll give us an answer of two out of six pieces, which we can simplify to one out of three. And we've got our final answer. Now whenever we do a problem that has subtraction with fractions or addition with fractions, we need to have the same denominators. So this is one way we can do it, by drawing out these shapes. The other way that we could do it would be by finding the least common multiple of 2 and 6. To find the least common multiple, we can skip count. So for 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. For 6, we have 6, 12, we've got 18, 24, and so on. Now the least common number, the least common multiple, would have to be, if we look across, the smallest number they both have in common is 6. So that means our denominator is going to be 6. So if we wanted to, we could say 1 half minus 1 sixth is really going to be written as something over 6 minus 1 over 6, because this one stays the same. Now we know 1 half is equal to 3 out of 6. So we've got our problem. 3 6 minus 1 6 is equal to 2 6, again, which is the same as 1 3rd. And we've got the exact same answer. Learning how to do these problems without having to draw up pictures will save us quite a bit of time. Let's go ahead and practice that on our next slide. What we want to do now, we want to add 1 half plus 3 eighths. So we've got to find the least common multiple of 2 and 8. Let's skip count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We'll start with 8. We've got 8, 16, 24. Whoa, we can stop because we know the smallest number that they both have in common. They both have an 8 in common. So that means both of these problems, both of these terms, will have to have a denominator of 8. So we've got something over 8 plus something over 8, and the second one is 3 over 8. It stays the same. Now, 1 half is equal to how many out of 8? 1 half is equal to how many out of 8? Well, we can see in this problem, we multiply 2 times 4, 2 times 4 to get to 8. So we're going to have to do the same thing with the 1. We're going to multiply it times 4. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4, so 1 half is equal to 4 eighths. So we get 4 eighths plus 3 eighths. That must be equal to 7 eighths. And we can't reduce or simplify this any further. We can go ahead and box it, and we've got our final answer. Take more time, pause the video if you need to write this down still. Our lesson practice will be on page 295. Make sure you've got your notes completed, and I'll see you during the next class.